Hi viewers, welcome to Ganesh YouTube channel. In this tutorial, I'm going to explain you how to create panels and wire mesh tilings in Tecla structures. Just like this. Okay, let's start. Open your Tecla structures with US environment. Now we're going to create beam. So click on steel and select this beam and pick the first point and second point to create beam. Like this. Right click on center. Now go to application and components by using the shortcut control F or you click on here. In search bar, type number 86. You'll get this component number 86, S86 panels. So select this component and pick the first point at here and pick the second point at here. Select the object as a beam and press the scroll mirror button to create the panel handles like this. Now close this window. Right click mouse interrupt. Click on space, right click on mouse rerun. By default, you'll get panel handles like this. Now we're going to edit this handrail as we required so right click on interrupt click on space right click on CW. double click on this handrail go to parts in this option we have the 76 number digit so close this window go to the application components and type here number 76 now double click on this component in this in this component you can change the height of this vertical pipe by default we have the four feet if you want to change you can change from this option and go to the parts tab in parts you can change the profile this vertical pipe profile at here click on here and choose the standard profile as you require then click on apply ok similarly you can change the middle and last pipe vertical pipe profiles also now click on modify apply ok and close it now coming to these panels to change this panel property profile and wide mesh then double click on the space and go to display and select this tick mark here under component symbols then click on modify apply ok click on ok now you will get here component symbol click on this option select object in component then double click on this component here you can see you can change the gap between the panel and the pipe at here but if we have half inch if you want to increase you can increase from this option then go to the panels in panel you can change the panel thickness this panel thickness by default we have 3 by 8 inch if you want to increase it you can increase from here let's take 8 by 16 then click on modify you can see now the panel thickness should be half inch you can change the welding size here and the welding type also here from this list and here you can see you can change this option whether it is workshop welding or show site welding and coming to here these uh, panels are brought out items then you can come here and click on s and then click on modify to update the, this item should be brought out items okay then click on modify apply okay now coming to this panel if you want to change this panel into wire mesh then double click on this component symbol then click on here and select here wire mesh then click on load you can see now we have the surface pattern type is the wire mesh then click on modify you can see now we have the wire mesh pattern here go to the panels and weld here you're going to change the thickness of this wire mesh here and the welding size and welding type and the brought out item here now go to the picture if you want to change the pattern of uh, this wire mesh then click on here and you can select this option then click on modify to change like this modify that's it then click on modify apply ok let's take this pattern then click on modify apply ok if you want to change this panel color then double click on this component then go to the panels and here you can see now here the oh, just take the panel name panel and the color we're going to give class 5 then click on modify you can see now here the panel color class 5 like this okay if you want to change this material you can click on here and scroll it down and you can give the material type here for example we're going to give the material type glass then click on apply okay then click on modify you can see this is a by default glass plural like this okay you can change the material property here and you can rename it as a glass 
then click on modify apply ok if you want to apply the same property to the remaining this glass so double click on this component then hold the control button select this component then click on modify apply ok to apply the same property to this glass okay similarly we're going to give the same property of this wireframe to this panel then double click on this panel window then hold the control button and select this component uh, to change this uh, panel to wireframe then click on modify apply ok you can see you'll get like this okay that's it about how to create panels and wireframe by links in tecla structures if you like this video please like it and share it if you have any doubts please comment below for more tecla structure related videos please go to my channel youtube.com slash gani sk i will provide this link in the description below of this video please go through it and come here under videos you can find out so many tecla structure related videos i hope this video is might be helpful to you and at the top right corner please click on subscribe button if you subscribe you will get notification or updates when uploading new video so please click on subscribe okay thank you